Good morning. It's Friday, October 25th. And this morning I'm about to tell you about a situation that has occurred in the Ukraine-Russia war. It appeared that 3,000 North Korean soldiers have arrived in Russia this month. And the Russians are apparently getting these soldiers in order to help them win that war in the Ukraine. Now, while there has been no official action taken as far as we know, it remains unclear exactly what those North Korean soldiers are doing in Russia. And it's unclear at exactly what they might do. But it's a highly concerning probability that they will join the fight against the Ukraine on behalf of Russia. That's a terrible situation. But we know that Russia is desperate to win this war, which has gone on for over two years. And Russia had probably felt in the beginning that they could just march in and destroy Ukraine, and it wouldn't be hard at all. But that is not what has happened. Ukraine has mounted a wonderful defense over this period of time, with help, of course, from the U.S. and its allies. But it's very concerning that Russia has taken to draw forces from another country, forces from North Korea, to possibly help the fight against Ukraine. So the U.S. has assessed that these soldiers traveled by ship from the Wansan area of North Korea to Vladivostok. And we do not know whether these soldiers will enter into combat alongside Russian military, but it's a great probability that that's what will happen. So these soldiers are training in Russia right now, and they could travel from Western Russia and then engage in combat against the Ukrainian military. So Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin was the first senior official to confirm on the record that North Korea had deployed troops to Russia. As North Korea and Russia have forged increasingly friendly ties since the Moscow invasion of Ukraine. And we, the United States, are seeing evidence that there are North Korean troops that have gone to Russia before this. That's the information that Austin has given to reporters who were traveling with him to Rome yesterday. And they're not exactly sure what these troops are going to do in Russia. Now, the U.S. does not believe that these North Korean troops have reached the Ukraine, but the movements have generated deep concern as this potentially serious escalation in the fight, in the war, looms. So right now, the U.S. does not believe that the North Korean troops have reached Ukraine, but these movements have generated deep concern in our uh, situation. And we now recognize that Russia is in a desperate situation if they have called upon another nation like North Korea to bail them out of their stupidity in the starting of the war with the Ukraine. So the U.S. has briefed the Ukrainian government, and we are keeping close contact with our allies and partners. 
So these issues that are cropping up now will cause more trouble than most people realize. And this looking to North Korea for manpower is a tremendous sign of weakness, not strength, on the part of Russia. So Russia is digging a deep hole for itself, probably in world opinion. If the world looks upon this as that Russia has to go outside of its nation, to get help in a war that it started for stupidity. How will Russia ever regain the stature that it once had, the stature that Putin is striving to recover. So what will North Korea get out of this deal? What will North Korea get out of this deal? That's a major question in the minds of many. And that, of course, remains to be seen. Because Russia is in a pitiful state right now. What can they possibly give to North Korea? And in my mind, the one thing that I'm thinking of is possibly some nuclear weapons. How would that be if North Korea now becomes a nuclear power of some kind? So this situation is putting the rest of the world in a tenuous situation. We have to look and see and watch this situation very carefully. Because we cannot afford to have Russia winning this war in Ukraine with the help of North Korea. So... I don't know what will happen, but it will have to be watched very carefully. So I don't know what North Korea will get out of this deal, but whatever it is, then it won't be good for the rest of the world. That's just my opinion, but I am sure it won't be good for the rest of the world. So I leave you with this insanity this morning. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you.